Swift Playgrounds is an app that teaches you how to code the coding language called Swift. It's an excellent way to learn the skills of coding and programming all within this one app called Swift Playgrounds. You can see once you open up Swift Playgrounds, I have three different playgrounds downloaded, but you can select other playgrounds from down here where it says more playgrounds. You can also click over here and see all, and you can see many more playgrounds. So this is kind of like, it looks like an app store. So it's kind of like an app store to download separate activities and lessons, and they call them playgrounds. Uh, if you want one of these playgrounds, you can click get, and it adds it to my playgrounds here. I would suggest if you're just starting out, you should start with Learn to Code 1. Learn to Code 1 introduces you to all the basics of coding and programming. So if I double click Learn to Code 1, it will open up this playground for me and give me a range of challenges. You can see over here in the sidebar, there are multiple chapters and there's challenges within each chapter. You can see these are all the different challenges that you need to complete to finish Learn to Code 1. And once you do that, you can move on to Learn to Code 2. You can hide this sidebar and just focus on the programming aspect of this app. So you can see over here is the world that you need to navigate. This is Byte, this is your character, and over here it gives you the instructions of what you need to do to be successful in this level. So for this level, you can see I've already finished one level because I have the green tick. In the second level, I need to get Byte to go up the stairs and turn left and walk along this gangway and pick up this gem. So here I can type in commands like move forward. I need him to move forward again. So I can click to commands too. The other thing I can do is start typing and it selects one command, the command, a command down here for you. If you press enter, that can add the command to your command list as well. When you're ready to try this program or run this program, if you press play, Byte will execute all of your commands over here. So you can see move forward, move forward, move forward. You see I made a mistake there, so I need to change that move forward to a turn left and so on and so on. So this is just a brief introduction to Swift Playgrounds. Give it a go, it's great fun, but you learn a lot through the process of completing these challenges as well.